And thank you. There are new faces on the Birmingham City Council tonight. Three new councilors sworn in this morning. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark live outside City Hall with more on those new council members and their goals for the city. Michael? Well, those three council members that are new have deep roots here in Birmingham. Two had to unseat incumbents to even get to this point. So tonight we sat down with all three freshman councilors about their priorities that they see for the Magic City over the next four years. I stayed up all night tossing and turning, uh, just, you know, really excited. For new Birmingham District 4 City Councilor J.T. Moore and his recently elected colleagues Carol Clark and Latanya Tate support during their first meeting today as a fresh reminder. The residents are counting on them for change. The goal is to just make sure that we push the, uh, the concerns of the district. Tate now represents District 9 after defeating John Hilliard in a runoff just a few weeks ago. She founded the Alabama Justice Initiative and has a lot of goals ahead. We want to address blight, definitely get a grip on crime, criminal justice with uh, law enforcement, our uh, background. Around. Definitely want to do that and making sure that we address the food deserts. With two thirds of the council remaining, new members like Clark want to continue the progress leaders have made on street resurfacing, blight removal, and revitalization. That might involve attracting more private investment into uh, neighborhoods that have been distressed for a long time and declining in population. So helping to really stabilize and grow neighborhoods is, is a, a, going to be a big focus. And Clark said she'll be pushing to quickly clean up areas that will soon host the World Games, like the Crossplex in her District 8. The new leaders will be working with neighborhood associations, calling on their constituents to get involved. Recruitment into neighborhood association. I think that uh, Councilman O'Quinn made a very good point that we are um, the answers to our problems. And so the more people that we can get involved, the more people we can start uh, helping with creating different committees, things that they're interested in, and everybody can find their place to contribute. A new council leadership also chosen today. District 7's Wardeen Alexander is the new city council president. District 6's Crystal Smitherman is the council president pro tem. Outside City Hall tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.